Welcome, today we're going to be disassembling an Acer Aspire V17 Nitro gaming laptop. Uh, this particular model is the VN7-791. And to start, we're going to need a small Phillips head. This is a 2.5. So we'll go ahead and flip the laptop over, and then we can remove the screws. Alright, once you have these screws removed, there's going to be a couple more um, underneath the, I guess that would be a clutch cover. So you're going to want to work your way around this little bar and just pop that up and then you'll reveal a few more hidden screws. And then using a flat edge tool, we're going to work our way around the perimeter of the palm rest. Um, starting here in the front and once you have a little bit uh, separated, just work your way around the rest of the palm rest. Alright, so now we have the palm rest loose and there's probably going to be some ribbons connecting the palm rest to the motherboard. Let's see if we can get a shot in there. So it looks like just a couple ribbons for the uh, keyboard palm rest and it looks like there may be one there in back. So to disconnect the palm rest, uh, there was one ribbon right here, uh, the main ribbon for the keyboard. Uh, you just move the connector out and then it'll pull the ribbon out. And then for the touchpad, it's just uh, that little flip up retainer. And then there was one right behind right here. You just flip it up with your fingernail. So once you get your hand in there, um, it's pretty easy to get a fingernail on these and release those ribbons. And then you can finish removing the palm rest from the rest of the assembly. All right, so now that we are inside the laptop, we can go ahead and just push that optical drive out. And as usual, the first thing we'll do is disconnect the battery. Just get your fingernails in the little tabs there and wiggle that connector out. We can go ahead and remove the remaining screw. battery is also held in by these little tabs so you might need to push down on it a little bit to get it released. Alright so we have the uh, display assembly kind of um, unbalancing the laptop so we'll go ahead and work on removing that because it's uh, easily accessible and we have a good view of the uh, Wi-Fi antennas coming out of the display, so we can go ahead and remove it right now. So just pull off that one Wi-Fi antenna and we'll go ahead and peel back that plastic. You want to do it slowly as you get toward the connector. You don't really want to yank on that too hard. And we can just lift up the retainer.
and unstick the video cable and free it. Alright, now that we have the video cable um, released, we can go ahead and remove the screws for the display. The easiest way to do this is just leave one screw um, in each hinge for now until you're ready to actually separate the two pieces. That way it'll still be supported on this side while you're removing the other screws. It looks like this cable might also be coming out of the display, so we'll go ahead and uh, remove that connector. Move these uh, ribbons out of the way for now. All right. So now we can go ahead and remove those two remaining screws. the display off of the bottom case assembly. All right, so we'll go ahead and remove the hard drive. So I just pull up on that little connector right there. And it should pop straight up and off. And you notice how I put my finger there. You kind of want to do that because sometimes those are held on pretty strong. You don't really want to pry up too hard on that motherboard. And the hard drive will just kind of slide out of the foam. Removing the Wi Fi card. And the DC jack. I don't really give you tabs on these. So you can actually usually get away with pulling on the uh, on the actual cable, but the DC jacks are pretty much the only thing that are made tough enough to actually pull on that cable. The rest of the stuff you want to actually use your fingernails and just pull back on those tabs. So we can finish doing that right now. Um, we'll go ahead and free all the cables that are hooked into the motherboard and then finish removing the motherboard. Alright, so it looks like the connectors for the fans are actually underneath. So we're going to go ahead and remove the fan screws as well. When we go to lift the motherboard out, we'll just go ahead and pull the fans, the cooling fans up with them. So I'll go ahead and remove that USB board. and also remove the screws for the motherboard.
Let's just give it a good wiggle and it should pop up. And make sure on the port side um, that you kind of pull the, the laptop away from the ports because they oftentimes poke through the case and you, know, you can't free the motherboard until you've kind of pulled it out of the ports. All right, so that's pretty much it for the bottom case assembly. Just a couple uh, smaller size Phillips screws for the speakers. And that's it. All right, now we can remove the heat sink and fans from the motherboard. So we'll go ahead and pull those connectors out. Using our fingernails. You'll notice with these connectors, some of them are quite in there and some of them are easy to pull out. So just as long as you wiggle, you should be able to get it out of there, no problem. It looks like the SSD uh, is on the bottom too, so we will go ahead and remove that. And the last thing we have to do is remove these screws. So it looks like we're gonna have to get rid of this tape. And then remove the six screws for the heatsink. Looks like these are retained on the back, so I just have to loosen them. It looks like we're almost there, except for a small piece of tape. small pieces of tape. Alright, now we can remove the fan and heatsink assembly and it looks like one of the Wi-Fi antennas that is it's stuck to the bottom of the fan. Alright, we are ready to disassemble the LCD screen. So First thing I want to do is separate the bezel from the back cover and just find the seam and get something straight in there and just start popping up the little retainers. And here it pop as you go along. And once you have a little bit started, you can just use your fingers to uh, work the bezel all the way around. And now you have access to all the components inside the LCD screen. All right, so the hinges uh, looks like just a few screws each side. So we'll go ahead and remove those. It looks like they have integrated rails as well. All right, so I notice now on this particular model, um, the LCD has to come out before the hinges and rails. So we'll go ahead and do that first. We'll just remove that LCD screen. Alright, 
So now we can just flip that over and release that video cable that's in the back. And most models have at least one layer of tape here that you have to peel back before you can reach the connector. So I'll just pick at a corner until you can get a good grip on it and then peel it back. Okay, strangely, the adhesive part has separated from the plastic part. So at any rate, if that happens to you, the main objective is to just get, get in there to where you can just see the connector and there's no plastic over it. And then you can just pull it straight out. And that will allow you to remove the LCD panel. Alright, so we have our one hinge already loose. And then we can go ahead and remove that other side. And we can finish removing that video cable as well. Just work it out of the tabs. And also for the webcam. Just work that cable out of the little tabs. And to remove the webcam, uh, it's best to Try to peel it from the top or the bottom. And this one's got a bit of plastic here at the bottom, so we're just gonna try to peel it a little bit at a time from the top. So usually just held on by some decently strong adhesive, but you can't really, you'd never be able to work it free from one end without breaking it, so. Just get it in there from the top. And it looks like I have a little bit of tape to unstick. And that will allow you to remove the webcam. All right, so that's it. We have a bareback cover. Um, it's not really too complicated to disassemble this particular laptop. So definitely if you have some repairs, go for it. There's not a whole lot stopping you. If you have a small Phillips screwdriver, you can basically take apart and reassemble the whole laptop. So that is it. That's how you disassemble an Acer Aspire V17 Nitro. And if this video helped you or you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.